more weather. We talked about the little patch of rain that moved through. Not really little because it was loud here yeah, for a little sure while. Was. But it came through pretty fast. It did move through quickly. That cold front is moving through and tomorrow is going to be much nicer than it was yeah. today. Plus it's Friday. So you know what I mean. Here is a look at the big picture. There's the cold front that's pushing through an area of low pressure over in Georgia. That's causing some heavy rain in Florida. Numerous storm reports to our north, but there's the front heading to the south. And notice how that rain pretty much dissipated. Still a few sprinkles. You've got them right over Highway 23 south of Des Alamans. In the city, you may have a little sprinkle, but that's all moving out. I want to take you off the west coast. Look at this upper level low. It is major and it's going to impact our weather next week. We've got the potential of having locally heavy rain, strong gusty winds, coastal flooding, and even some strong storms. So we're going to have to watch that carefully. But tonight, that front is heading to the south. It's going to be well to the south when you wake up in the morning. Little bit of patchy fog possible along the Mississippi Gulf Coast in the morning. And then the sun is going to come out. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 60s. So here's the big picture with that front heading to the south. High pressure builds in. The wind is going to die down. Highs upper 60s to near 70. And then look at how the high just kind of hangs out as you go into Saturday. It's going to be a sunny day. Cool in the morning, lows 40s and 50s, high temperatures in the low 70s. Then we get another little dry cold front moving through, and it reinforces the cool air in place so that as you go into Sunday, another beautiful day, high temperatures near 70. But we're beginning to pick up a southerly flow over in Texas. That's going to happen to us as well. As you go into Tuesday, your rain chances are going up. The wind is increasing. As you go into Wednesday, rain chances go up. As you go into Thursday, we've got a decent shot at rain. Now, it is possible that it may set up a little bit more to our west, but there is that potential for locally heavy rain. Situation we'll have to watch carefully for next week. So as we look at the upper levels, we see this low moving parking over Texas high pressure to the east. That means we pick up that strong southerly flow and that's going to be the weather maker for next week. But tonight the cold front moves through. The sun will come out tomorrow. I'm not singing. And then you can see sunny for the weekend. A really great weekend. The high today was 77, well above that average of 69. And across the area, generally mid 70s to the upper 70s. Nola Bucket says, NOLA looks beautiful, and it sure did. And then Maria was saying game over at Pelican Park. They were playing soccer, and Wayne was right there on Chef Highway, and it was raining. So we're a lot warmer than we were yesterday, but your morning lows, upper 40s to the mid 50s. So let's look at that forecast. Some clouds in the morning, noontime sunny, 3 o'clock upper 60s. Saturday, Sunday, looking beautiful. Weather changes next week. I'm watching Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and this may linger actually into Saturday, so we'll be keeping you posted. All right.